Morning skates coming to an end. We're inside the locker room of Powerade Center as the Nailers get ready to take on the Brampton Beast tonight. You can see the boys have started to make their way off the ice. We'll take you around for our daily arena tour of where the team plays on the road. Coach's office. Morning, Gove. How are you? Great. How is the skate today? Excellent. Are they fired up to finish this road trip with another win? Oh, yeah. Or two? Perfect, I like it. All right, let's go outside of the locker room. Training room is right in there. We have all healthy players, good. But we will say a good morning to Bill Higgins who is getting his skate sharpener ready for the day. Jerseys are there. All right, so they'll come out here. Zambonis are over there. And they will walk around. Through this door here is where they take the ice. Seamus McKelvey is kindly high, uh, holding the door for the players. Good morning, Seamus. Good morning. I guess we don't see the value in shooting at nets anymore. We'll just fire things off the boards. That's Clark Seymour. Frankie Palazis is expected to get the start tonight after picking up the victory in Adirondack on Tuesday. Look around, Brampton comes out of the far corner there. This is the end of the ice that's a little bit smaller than the rest of it. And we'll show you around the whole Powerade Center here. Scoreboard at the top. My booth is the only one with the light on here this morning. This is a neat venue in the sense that this is not the only set of ice in this building. So this is going to be maybe a little bit of a longer tour than usual as I'll take you around and show you what sort of things this place has to offer. Brampton's room's down that way. So we have the community entrance. And lo and behold, what do we see? Yes, a second sheet of ice. But guess what? That's not it. There's more. I feel like Billy Mays here. So we'll come in here in rink number two. So this is the Royal Bank rink. You got a concession stand right there for it. And then right around the corner from this kiosk is rink number three, which they're currently working on right now. There's a nice area up the top for people to overlook the game. That's got to be quite the view. It'd be fun to broadcast from directly over a rink like that. That'd be great. So then we turn it around and what do we find? Why yes, it is another rink. It is rink number four. Yes, there are four rinks inside Powerade Center. So here's the fourth one and we'll make our way back this way towards the main rink. Nailers play here tonight and tomorrow to conclude the road part of the season series. And then they'll go back to West Bank Arena finally. Oh, this is cool. I have not seen this map before. New era of double-A professional hockey. Very nice. We should get one of those. They'll pull into Wheeling in the early hours of Sunday morning play where am I going three home games next weekend Friday Saturday and Sunday oh boy I thought I locked myself out that would have been a swift move all right let's go through the concourse here at Powerade Center standard concourse media entrance this is a former Ontario Hockey League building the Brampton Battalion used to play their games here Brampton Battalion then relocated became the North Bay Battalion that is way up north in Canada in Ontario and lo and behold North Bay actually plays tonight in Mississauga which is literally right down the road from here they used to have two buildings on the same street in the OHL Brampton Sports Hall of Fame not sure what that consists of but I guess we're gonna find out I didn't notice this last year. I wonder if this is a new addition. Boy, is it dark as ever around this concourse, though. Looks like it's got a lot of stuff in here. Maybe when it gets light in later on tonight, I'll get a chance to get a picture or two of that. Wow. 
Who knew? That's cool. I like it. Kind of like West Banco Arena, and there's another side of it too. I'm sure you didn't see much of that because it's darker than, you know, around here, but still neat. Give you a view of the arena from behind the net here. As you can see, that end on the opposite side, a little bit different than most, with seats around three of the four sides. Oh, I love the, by the way, the seating numbers in here are just ingenious, by the way. Watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six. You'd think seven comes next, right? Nope, it's 105. Down to 104, 103, 102, and 101. Why is that like that? You got me. I have no clue. I noticed that when we were here last year and I thought to myself, what in the world are they doing? All right, so we make our way back towards the remainder of the concourse. And then we'll take you upstairs. They have a nice setup behind the goal. It's where the media meal is. I think there's a restaurant and bar up there too, if I'm not mistaken. I'll show you where uh, interview stairwell is in this building. Yep, we do that too. 2 0 in Elmira with the stairwell interview. You think we're nuts. And we probably are, but you know what? Don't care, because we win. Wrong door. Here we go. And up the stairs we go. This is stairwell interview right here. Or interview stairwell. Typically I take the elevator up, but I don't feel like waiting for it. So, stairs are always good. Get a workout in. All right. So we're now on the second level of Powerade Center. Corner above the Nailers Tunnel. Still finishing up the morning skate. And then back here, media room, media meal is in here. Overlooking one of the ice sheets. And then here is their restaurant bar thing, which I don't know what the name of it is. Still not open for business, but it will be come game time. All right. Back around we go. We'll take it to the press box and the broadcast booth, and that's where we'll put the end of it. Burgers. I'm assuming they have some kind of a deal for how many goals they score. Hopefully we don't see any burgers over the next two nights. And down the hall we go. Dark, so I can't show you a whole lot of stuff, but they do have posters and whatnot of some of the events that they've held here at Powerade Center. Look outside to the city of Brampton in the parking lot. In their athletic complex. And the last, we make our way down the hall and we find the press box. And I am located right in here, visiting Team Radio. Boot the door open. And here you go. There's my view. Dave Gove says, let's go. And the guys will be heading back to the hotel shortly for their pregame meal as they get set to play the first of two against the Brampton Beast right here at Powerade Center. Hope you enjoyed the tour.